What's up guys, Cameron, Tech Support Supervisor here with Fuel Tech USA. Uh, we've been getting a lot of questions about the switch panels and how they work, how you program a button to turn on an output. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that today. We've got the FT Dragster here, it has a switch panel in it that's controlling all kinds of stuff, but today we're just gonna set up a fan using some generic outputs and inputs and, and that sort of thing. Pretty simple to do, but let's jump right in. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is open up our tune, this one I already have open, and we're gonna scroll down to sensors and calibration. And at the bottom here, you'll see a thing that says switch panel with like a little plus button next to it. Click that and it's gonna open up all the different variations of the switch panel that we have. Uh, switch panel eight, four mini, five mini, and eight mini. This dragster has a regular switch panel eight on it, so we're gonna click switch panel eight. And you can see that there's already some stuff configured here, but I'm just gonna go through the process of how to set it up and, and what you wanna do to make one of these buttons do something on your race car. So we'll choose generic output number eight. <clears throat> and you can see here, once I open this up by clicking on that button, there's a whole bunch of different options that we can do here from upshift buttons, start buttons, delay box stuff, two-step, three-step, anti-lag, anything that you wanna do. We're gonna leave this one as generic output eight. Next, we're going to go to our outputs and we're gonna select one of our outputs, this one's already been wired, and set that up as generic output eight. Like I said, you can configure this to do a bunch of other things. So if you had like a two-step that you wanted to do through the switch panel, you would set the button as two-step, and then you would set, you know, like your output would be trans brake solenoid for that case, where you would use the ECU to control your trans brake. Next, like let's say if we were doing a two-step, you would go here and you would choose FT CAN 2.0 and switch panel eight, and which number button it is. Usually this will be, will be populated once you, you choose a button on the switch panel, but when you're using the generic functions, there is not a option for that. Once you set those up and go to the outputs, generic outputs here, we can choose generic output eight, for example. We can say FTCAN 2.0. We can choose toggle on and off, like you push it and it turns on, and then you push it and it turns off or you can make it so that it's like a momentary button where you hold it and it stays on when as soon as you let go, it turns off. Uh, in this case, we're using it to control a fan. So we're gonna have it as toggle on and off. We're using a blue output, so we're gonna tell it to be activated at zero volts. And we're gonna ensure that our button number here, number four is correct. Looking at the switch panel down here, it looks like that's button number four. And then also on the other screen that we were just on, it shows that it was number four as well. Click save and then write the ECU. And now, if we reach in here, we can actually push the button and you'll hear the fan come on. And you notice that when I did that, I only had to push the button once, it stayed on, and then as soon as I pushed the button again, then it turned off. The other option would be like momentary to where you would have to push and hold. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. It's really easy to set things up. A lot of people will use the generic outputs to do things that are really simple, like turn on a fan, external of any type of you know, sensor readings or something. Uh, this is a, a bracket racing car. The guys like to walk up there and turn the fans on and turn the fans off or do different things without having to rely on um, like a certain temperature being on or anything like that. They hot lap these cars a lot. They want to just have the fan on while it's in the staging lanes, that kind of stuff. It's really useful for things like that. And also, like I said, two step, three step. If you have a, a vehicle where you need maybe like a, a rolling start, rolling anti-lag type thing, you can use one of the buttons on the switch panel for that. Um, really cool stuff and it's super easy to set up. We'll see you guys next time.